Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for November 12th of 2021. Well, it is titled M33, the Triangulum Galaxy. So what do we see here? Well, this is an example of a spiral galaxy and actually one of the nearest spiral galaxies to us, not the Andromeda galaxy known as M31. But M33 is known as the Triangulum ga galaxy and is one of three large spiral galaxies that are present within our own local group. Now our own local group of galaxies is dominated by those three spiral galaxies and has a lot of small dwarf galaxies and irregular galaxies that are present within it. Spiral galaxies are very common in smaller clusters and around the outskirts of large clusters of galaxies. And they stand out because of their distinct spiral structure. And you can see the spirals like a pinwheel here spiraling out from the center of this galaxy. Within those spiral arms, we notice two distinct colors, a blue and a red. And those are caused by, in general, the same process. They are caused by stars that, are, that have formed recently. Stars that form, the most prominent and brightest stars that form first, are the big bright blue stars. So their light will dominate the spiral arms where those, star, where those stars have formed. And around those we will see pink hydrogen regions from hydrogen left over from that star formation that is still gl is glowing because of the emission of those stars. Those stars give off a lot of ultraviolet light and that is then visible uh, makes the hydrogen actually visible. It excites the atoms within the hydrogen gas and causes them to glow and they give off a distinct red color. So you notice that a lot of those red hydrogen regions also follow the spiral arms and again are associated with star formation. Within our own galaxy we see the same type of emission within the Orion star forming region a very prominent nearby star forming region. However that would be a very small compared to some of the ones seen here where we get many much more massive star formation going on. So we happen to see one of the smaller ones that is close by. But overall, a lot of star formation can be in very tremendous and large star forming regions. And they exist in our galaxy as well, just not as close to us and some of them not even visible to us because of our position within our galaxy that keeps us from seeing much of our galaxy directly. So here we're able to see in a distant galaxy, we're able to look and get looked down on the galaxy and see much of the galaxy at once, something we can't do with our own galaxy because of our position inside it. So that was our picture of the day for November 12th of 2021. It was titled M33, the Triangulum Galaxy. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture, previewed to be 67P. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day, everyone, and I will see you in class.